let's talk about data validation in Excel. Data validation is a feature that allows you to set rules and restrictions for data that is entered into a cell. This can help to ensure that the data in your spreadsheet is accurate by mistake proofing it. It can also prevent errors by providing user-friendly messages. In this video, we'll discuss three fascinating features of data validation that you can apply to your spreadsheet. First, we'll discuss how to limit the number of characters that could be entered into a cell. Then, we'll discuss how we can create a list of options that can be selected from a drop-down menu. And last, we'll create a custom formula that prevents duplicate values from being entered within a range. Now let's talk about phone numbers. I want employees to be able to enter a phone number within column L, and that phone number has a condition that it cannot be equal to or exceed 10 digits. How do I make this happen? I'll go into the first cell of the range and within the data tab of my Excel workbook, I'll go into data validation and in the settings tab, within the allow field, I'll select text length and I want it to be less than 10 digits. So I'll write less than 10. And in the error alert tab, I want an error to be received whenever someone enters a number that is equal to or exceeds 10 digits. This number exceeds the maximum digit length. Now, let me go ahead, click OK, and let's enter a few sample numbers, and let's see what happens if we enter a number that is 10 digits. But before I do that, I've only entered data validation into cell L2, so it hasn't been applied to the other cells yet. So let me go ahead and drag this down so it applies to the other cells within my range as well. And now let me go ahead and let's play around and see what happens if we enter a number that's greater than or equal to 10 digits. So this number that I've entered in row four is exactly 10 digits. Let's hit enter, let's see what happens. As you can see, I get the error message saying that this number exceeds the maximum digit length. In column L over here, I want employees to be able to select their name from a drop-down list. And that list is given in column Q right over here. So let me go onto the first cell of column L and let's bring this to action. I'll go into data validation first and in the allow section, I'll select list and the source of my list is right over here. So I'll select this range. And after that, I'll go ahead and click OK. And just like that, from this drop down list, employees can select their name and this avoids spelling grammar mistakes, but it also ensures data consistency. Now let's talk about preventing duplicate values within your range. I have the first cell selected over here and I'll go back into data validation. And this time in allow, I'll select custom and I'll come up with a formula that identifies and only accepts unique values. So here I've generated the formula using a count if function. And the range of this formula is L2 to L15, which is the range of my list. The target cell is L2, which is the cell that I have selected. And it's supposed to be equal to one, which means that this L2 cell can only occur once within my selected range. As you can see, I've used absolute locking in my range so that my range doesn't keep on looping as I go down the cells. Now, what if I enter a duplicate value? an error will appear. Now, if I don't want a generic error and if I want a customized error, I'm gonna go into the error alert section over here and I'm gonna select what I want that error to do. Do I want it to completely stop me from adding that duplicate value or do I want it to let me still enter that duplicate value and just give me an information box? So in my case, if I enter a duplicate value, I want it to stop. I don't want it to let me do that. It has to be a hard stop. So I'm going to select stop and within the error message, I'll type this invoice number has already been used. So now let me click OK and this cell has now been applied with that data validation. So I'll take this and I'll drag it down to my other cells within the range. And now all of these cells have been applied with the data validation. Now let me enter a few sample numbers and then let me enter a duplicate value and let's see what it does. So for my fourth value, I'm going to write a repeat of my second value, 1743, and let's see what it does. 
As you can see, the error appears and it tells me this invoice number has already been used. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. Remember, a little bit of data validation can go a long way in ensuring the integrity of the data. Happy analyzing and I'll see you on the next video.